Functional testing and non-functional testing are both crucial components of a comprehensive software testing process. Functional tests confirm that the code is doing the right things, while non-functional tests validate that the code is doing things the right way. Functional tests focus on checking the application's functionality against a set of specifications and includes testing portions of the underlying code. Functional testing is the more strictly necessary of the two categories. The problems these tests look for don't have workarounds. They need software-based solutions. Non-functional testing, on the other hand, checks the application for properties that aren't critical to functionality but contribute to the end-user experience. Performance and reliability under load aren't functional components of a software system, but can certainly make or break the user experience. The most neutral approach to testing choices includes a comprehensive mix of functional and non-functional testing. Many developers follow the testing pyramid. Because they are quick to write and execute, unit tests make up the base of the pyramid. As they advance upward, developers implement a smaller number of tests using methods like integration testing. Then they progress toward practices like user acceptance testing at the end of the process. Organizations can reduce the costs associated with implementing and maintaining a testing process by integrating functional and non-functional tests into a continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline. To learn more about testing and how to integrate good testing practices with your continuous integration tools, explore some of the applications that integrate with CircleCI at circleci.com/integrations.